that came out in the Express August 10th, 2018. I don't know if any of you were aware of this, but Yellowstone Volcano, there were 153 earthquakes in the month of July at Yellowstone National Park. All right, Yellowstone National Park has been struck by a shocking 153 earthquakes during the month of July, sparking fears. The big one earthquake or a super volcano could be due. That is a lot of quakes for one month. So they're saying that um, according to the United States Geographical Survey, the latest quake had a magnitude of 2.5 and was part of a small sequence of 12 quakes. A larger sequence of 77 earthquakes occurred 14 miles south-southwest of Mammoth in Wyoming during the period between July 16th and July 27th. The largest earthquake was a microquake of a magnitude of 2.3, which struck on July 24th at 8.40 p.m. A larger earthquake sequence like these are fairly common and they account for roughly half of the total seismic activity in Yellowstone National Park. The USGS also revealed that steamboat geysers remain active in July with eruptions on July 6th and July 20th. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientists are also continuing to assist colleagues in Hawaii with the response to the ongoing crisis with Kilauea volcano, which is still going on by the way, the Yellowstone supervolcano is one of the most dynamic sites in the world and was closed on July 10th after park authorities found cracks in the rock. Although the supervolcano has not been active, um, had an active eruption for 640,000 years, scientists are monitoring it constantly. A supervolcano is thousands of times more powerful than a normal volcano and could result in changes across the globe. Scientists even believe that an eruption could eject 240 cubic miles of material and a pyroclastic flow, which cause volcanic ash to be ejected miles into the air and scattered across the whole United States. The sheer volume of ash would be devastating and could kill people, plants, animals, and even crush buildings and flatten cities. And they have been talking about new fissures that have appeared um, in Wyoming. National Park, which is part of Yellowstone. Yellowstone is the site of the largest, most diverse collection of natural thermal features and one of five USGS volcano observatories, observatories that monitor volcanoes for scientific and public safety, as well as being situated on the Snake River Plain Yellowstone hotspot, um, an area of tectonic activity. Uh, the region also of an ambience of hot springs and deep mud pools that gather liquid and gas beneath the surface. Because of this, small quakes are a frequent occurrence in Yellowstone, which is typically hit by 1,000 to 3,000 quakes a year, 
according to the National Park Service. Now, they just brought that out because the seismic activity um, had jumped up in July, you know, with the 153. But it's interesting. And um, I really believe sooner or later, something major will happen in that area. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family. Thank you.